Hi everyone, my name is Adesh Mishra and today we are going to solve one more problem on code shift. So let's see what is our problem. So the title of this problem is first and last digit and you can find this problem by writing this problem code flow004 uh, it is 004 I think and then you have to click on practice and learn and then you have to search this in search problem by tax and then you can easily find this question so let's see what this question is all about here we are given that if give if given an integer n okay so write a program to obtain the sum of the first and the last digits of this number okay so we are given a number n and then we have to uh, take sum of the first digit and last digit okay and what is the pattern of input the first line contains integer t the total number of test cases so we are given integer t t means test cases test cases means number of queries and then following by that we are getting each line containing an integer n and for that every integer n we have to calculate the sum of first and last digits and what is the pattern of output for each test case display the sum of first and last digit of n in a new line okay so the, here are some constraints that the value of t will be in between 1 and 1000 and the value of n will be in between 1 and 1 10 hundred thousand 10 thousand lakh 10 lakh 10 lakh okay so here we are given a sample example in which the input is given as 3 is the number of test cases then we are getting value 1 2 3 4 so for this particular value of n we can see the first digit is 0 and the last is uh, sorry the first digit is 1 and the last digit is 4 so what is the sum of 1 and 4 so we are getting 5 as output in our second test case we can see that 1 2 4 8 9 4 so first and last digit is 1 and 4 so here also the answer is going to be 5 in this case the first and last digit is 2 and 3 so for that the answer is five okay so let's solve this question in our ideally so let's open our ideally here so first of all we have to take the number of test cases as an input so we will write test is equal to end input after that what we have to do we have to take n numbers so while our test cases are greater than zero we have to take a number n as an input so n is equal to int input and then we have to do some operation on n so what we have to do we have to calculate the sum of first and last so let's um, create a function check okay or anything like you can uh, define any function and we will pass n as input and what after that we, have, we will decrease the value of test cases so we have defined the function check so we have to create that also so def check and then it will take one value n as a input so we have to calculate the sum of first and last digit of n so for that uh, there are two methods to solve the first method is you can convert this into a string and then after converting it into a string you can easily get the first and last uh, digit and the second method will be uh, we are going to um, use mathematical operations like for getting the last digit of any number we can divide it uh, by 10 and by dividing it by 10 we can get a remainder and that remainder will be our last digit but we are not going to use that mathematical approach we are going to solve it by using string operations so we will convert this number n into a string so you can see here we are converting it into a string and we are going to store this into s then we have to take out the first element so what is that first element first element is index 0 then we have to take the last element last element is string minus 1 so I have told you in our string lecture that whenever we are going for indexing so this is index 0 then index 1 then index 2 then index 3 and we can also do negative indexing by minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and minus 4 so in this case s 0 and s minus 1 we and we will get s 0 as 1 and s minus 1 as 4 but here we will not get the answer why because s at 0 here you can see that it is a string value and we have to convert it into integer so we will type cast this value into integer and then we will also type cast another value into integer and then we will take addition of that and then we will return this solution so this is pretty easy and let's see whether it is working or not so here this is the whole program and let's save it 
so what is the question first and last digit okay and here we are going to save it in desktop problem number nine and save it is asking for input then we have to copy our sample input here and let's see whether we are getting the output or not so for this case uh, we are not getting output why why we are not getting output because i have written this value but i have not printed so here we can write print check n so whatever that this function will return us we are going to print it so now this is going to work uh, let's see 5 5 and 5 so all the solutions are right so we have used our first approach that we have to convert our number into a string and then we can use indexing the string at index 0 a string at index minus 1 here it is the first element and here a string at index minus 1 means last element and then we are converting it into integer and then we are adding the integer and then we are returning it and after returning we will print the returned value so this is how we will complete this program Click on these videos right here and be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.